Hello kids, it's me, Senior Pablo, and welcome to another edition of Math Tutorial Elementary Edition. But before we start our discussion, I want you to prepare your pencil and your notebook. Because later, you're going to answer independently some math questions. Today, you're going to learn how to add numbers. Well, addition or adding numbers is very important. Especially if you're going to buy something like toys or food. As you grow older, you will appreciate the beauty of mastering this addition. So what are you waiting for? Let us start our discussion. So first, let us define what is addition. By definition, addition is a skill of calculating the total of two or more numbers or amount. And in addition, we use this symbol. This is what we call the plus sign or symbol. Or also known as the addition sign. That's why if we're going to add two numbers, let's say 8 plus 1. We use the plus sign to separate the two numbers. And that is, we know that 8 plus 1 is equal to 9. And the two numbers that we are adding is what we call the addends. And the total of the two numbers is what we call the sum. You can also write it in vertical form. Let's say we have 8 plus 1. I'm going to write vertically. So 8 plus 1. And that is equal to 9. This time, this will be our addends. And this is our sum. In solving huge number or large amount of numbers, we prefer to use this uh, solving the vertical way. But if you can solve it mentally, it's okay to write it in horizontal way. And now let us proceed in solving. Now I want you to prepare your pencils and your notebook or scratch papers. And now join me in solving some addition problems. Let's say I have 5 plus 4. In elementary math, some students or pupils use their fingers to add some numbers or to add this kind of number. So we have 5, 5, then we need to add Four. So 5 plus 4, 6, 7, 8, 9. So the sum is 9. Let's try one more. 6 plus 2. So we get the bigger number, which is 6, then add 2. So 6 plus 2, 7, 8. So the sum is 8. Now, get your pencil and your notebook. Solve this one. Let's say you have 4 plus 3. Can you try it? 4 plus 3. I will give you 5 seconds. What is our answer? So 4, 5, 6, 7. So the answer is 7. What if we have 3 plus 5? 3 plus 5? Can you solve it? 
Again, I will give you five seconds. Okay. So, what is the which is bigger, five or three? So we have five. Then we we're going to add three. So five plus three, six, seven, eight. So the answer is eight. That is on how to add a single digit number. Let us proceed in two digit numbers. What if we have a two digit number and a single digit number? Let's say I have 16 plus 2. So in addition, always align your place value. So the ones must be aligned to the ones place in our two digit number. And of course, the tens, we don't have tens here, so this will become, this, this is understood as zero. Take note of that. So, let's now try to add this. Six plus two, let's start with the ones place. Six plus two, so six plus two, seven, eight. So we write eight here. We know that the, our value of tens is zero here. So that is one plus zero is one. So we write one. But since zero has no value, then we could just omit this zero in front of our one's place. Next, let's say I have 24 plus 5. Again, check your alignment. One's place must be on the one's place. We cannot rewrite that as in this case. No, because this will be considered as we will write zero here, that would be 50. So that is in wrong place. Oh. So one's place must be in one's place. Okay. So four plus five, five plus four, six, seven, eight, nine. So we write nine. Then understood that there is zero here, so two plus zero, the answer is 29. Now I want you to solve this. 31 plus seven. Can you try it? I will give you five seconds. Time's up. One plus seven. That is 8. Then, 3 plus 0, we we'll just bring down 0. Bring down 0, 38. Did you get it? Very good. Let's example. Let's say I have 52 plus 4. Can you do it within 3 seconds? In 3, 2, 1. Okay, let's try to solve it. 3 plus 4, 4, 5, 6. So that's 6, and bring down. That is on how to write or how to solve a single digit number and a two digit number. Now let us proceed in two digit number plus another two digit number. Let's say we have. 36 plus 21. Okay, I want to solve that vertically. That is equal to 36 plus 21. Notice that we have a two-digit number and another two-digit number. So one's place must be aligned to one's place, then tens place to tens place. Then let us now add. 6 plus 1, that is 7. 3 plus 2, so 3, 4, 5, that is 5. So 57. What if we have 71 plus 24? 
check the alignment. After checking the alignment, add. Can you do it within three seconds? Three, two, one. So one plus four, that is five. Seven plus two, seven, eight, nine. That is nine. So the answer is 95. And what if I have 39 plus 40? So 9 plus 0, that is 9. Then 3 plus 4, 4 plus 3, 5, 6, 7. So the answer is 79. Did, did you get uh, the same answer? Okay, very good. And lastly, let's say we have 24 plus 65. Can you do it within 3 seconds? In 3, 2, 1. Now, let's solve. 4 plus 5, okay, 9, very good. 2 plus 6, that is 8, which is 89. So that is on how to add a two-digit number and a two-digit number. And now let's say we have a three-digit number and a two-digit number. Let's say I have 421 plus 54. So let's check the place value. One stands hundreds. One stands. So to add that, let us use the vertically. Let us write it vertically. So 421 plus the ones must be aligned to the ones place value. So 4 is aligned to 1. This is our ones. And then tens, two must be aligned to five. Tens, five. Okay, ready to add. So one plus four, that is five. Two plus five, that is seven. And bring down 4. Or that is simply 4 plus 0. So our sum is 475. What if we have 362 plus 21? Check your alignment. Okay. So 2 plus 1 that is 3. 6 plus 2, 6, 7, 8. So 8. And bring down 3. Now I want you to try this example. Or this, add these numbers 24, or 124 plus 35. 124 plus 35. Can you do it within 4 seconds? In 4, 3, 2, 1. Let's check your work. 4 plus 5, that is 9. 2 plus 3, 5. Then bring down 1. Did you get the same answer? If yes, so that is on how to add a three-digit number and a two-digit number. And now let us solve the following problems. Add the following numbers. Let us try to solve number one. Nine plus three. So nine, 10, 11, 12. So the answer is? 12. Okay. Next, number two. 
17 plus 2. Let us check the alignment. So 7 plus 2, 7, 8, 9. So right 9 and 1. We just need to bring down 1. Right? And number 3. 124 plus 35. So always check the alignment of the place value. So ones, ones, tens, and tens. So it's in proper alignment. Now we can add 4 plus 5, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So 9. 2 plus 3, that is 5. And bring down 1. And number 4, 721 plus 124, 1 stands hundreds, 1 stands hundreds. So in its proper alignment, we can now add 1 plus 4, that is 5, 2 plus 2, 4, and 7 plus 1 gives us 8. So the sum is 845. And our last example, 8,224 and 1,325. Four-digit number. Check the alignment. And add. Four plus five, nine. Then two plus two, four. Two plus three, five. Eight plus one, nine. So that is on how to add numbers without regrouping. Now I will insert exercises, then you need to work independently. And now I want you to answer the following exercises, numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Our instruction is add the following numbers. Number one, seven plus three. Number two, seventy-one plus fifteen. Number three, three hundred twenty-four plus seventy-three. And number four, four thousand two hundred fifty-one plus three hundred twenty-six. Number five, five thousand eight hundred ninety-two plus three thousand one hundred six. Write those numbers or questions in your notebook. Then after answering, let your mom and dad to check your work. And I hope that you learn something in this video. Addition of addition adding numbers without regrouping. Please don't forget to subscribe and share senior.